Hi YouTube, move up Marty here and today it's not a tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to extract or render HD movies with Premiere Pro because I didn't know it to do it, do it good. I got some problems with it and now I found how to do it so I'm gonna show you. So open up Premiere Pro. And wait. <laughs> So now I opened up Premiere Pro, we're gonna start a new project. And now the settings, the starting settings are important. Um, let's see, display format, timecode, or frames that you need to choose for yourself. I like timecode most. Uh, audio samples, state, and here. Take um, AGV, I think uh, the when you do it first time it will be on DV, let's say HDV. Take it. And yeah, your location, of course, where you want it. Uh, let's see. YouTube. Tutorials. New HD. Is making a map. Select the map, the name title, so I'm gonna do this, and go to scratch disk. Same as project, all of them. And click OK. Now, here, take HD1. I don't know, it's, it's custom for me. So, go to settings. The editing mode, change it on custom. Custom. And uh, this you need to choose for yourself. Uh, basically, I use on my videos uh, 23 frames per second. You can do more or less. I recommend 23, it's just basic. And frame size, this is for uh, the 720p, and you need to increase it. I don't know the number out of my head, but you increase it to the. Uh, let me search for it. Wait. 12, 80, 720, square pixels, non field thing, project scan, um, like we added at the start, 24 frames per second time cut. Uh, this is for your audio. This is okay. Uh, 84 is okay, but this is more better quality and this is even better quality. But this should be okay. You should be uh, leaving it on this. Uh, audio samples. Microsoft AVE is preview format. It's not so important, but just leave it on this. And 24p again. Just leave it. And then, if you want to keep this preset, like always, just keep your name. I typed in hg1 and save the preset. preset the preset sorry and then you can go when you start it here go to custom presets custom and you can start it so you don't keep that need to do it every time so double click it you get here you need to wait again a little bit to let it start my computer is a little bit slow because I'm uploading something. I uploaded three videos. Will be active at the moment. Okay, here it is. So here you go. Insert your footage. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna insert. 
just probably just a picture now to show you how fast I do it. So import the footage, import it to this, and just these two pictures, not much. Okay, view transitions. Just do a little transition here. A bit too white is good for me. Just to make it a little bit better. And now go to File, Export, Media, or Control M. But I like to uh, do it like this File, Export, Media. And here you get, you see uh, two tabs, search and output. Now you see when I change it, it changes. So it's not the same. My output, my output, my, my output is not the same as a uh, search. We want to change that because it needs to be the same. So just go to this format, quick time, preset custom. Uh, output names. Uh, just gonna do um, test. Don't say export video and export audio. There's no audio, but probably your clip will have some audio. And go to the filters, leave it, video tab. Video codec is on animation. Take H two seven two six. 460, 2460, sorry, good. So, H2460, scroll, make it a little bit easier. It's easier. Scroll down, quality, maximum, and now this, unlink it. 1 to 80. It's a little bit dark on my room. One to eighty and seven twenty again. Seven twenty. Okay, now link it. Uh, frame rate same as before. Aspect. Square pixels. This is really important. Square pixels. Now you see these changes. Now it's the same. Now we're good. If it's not square pixels like this, you see it's not good. Take square pixels. Take it. Then don't check any of these, don't check the render there. Uh, I like to do K-frame every one frame. I think it's more uh, HD. I don't know for sure, not everyone does it, but I like to do it. It's not that quite long render, it's just a normal render. But Premiere Pro is pretty fast rendering. And just optimize styles, stills. And that's all you need to do for this. Now go to oh, scratch pictures. Go to a audio audio codec. Uh, I think I use AAC and take this again, like I showed you before. Uh, you can choose mono stereo. Probably you want stereo, but something maybe you want mono. Like for tutorials, you don't need stereo. You can use mono. As well, but I use stereo only. And this just leave it. You can you can do some information here. I guess. Yeah, I don't use it. So now we want to export it. So click uh, which first check. It's the same. Check it via changing the tabs here. It's the same. So it's good. Now click on export. Don't don't do the queue. You need some uh, different programs for it. So export. And wait, I will pause it here and we'll come back when it's, oh, it's already almost complete. So I wait. Probably just talking to you. Maybe listening to a song.
I like the song, I will uh, put the link on, it's from a YouTube account, we'll put, put the link in the description. And now, yeah, it was done. You don't see the thing anymore, it's just done. So I go to my uh, folder, the um, YouTube, Tutorials, no, I didn't do it. Tutorials, I do it at Extreme Big Quality Pack. Just go to where you save the movie, and here it is. Double click it, probably. Turn it on. Turn the screen it. Like this. And you see, it's pretty HD, and I hope you like it. Be sure to subscribe, like, do anything you want. Just only thing you need to do now is uh, put it on YouTube. I want to put it on YouTube, it's a little bit stupid. So, this was Move Lock Martin. I hope you enjoyed. Peace out.